everyone, and welcome to another episode of A Dramatic Soprano Tries Cooking with me, your host, Samantha Nera, and today I will be joined by Rachel of Fermata Fashion, and since it is Mermaid, we will be doing recipes from the Mermaid Food Cookbook! Hooray! Today, I will be attempting to make shark truffles! So cute! And Rachel will be making shark ice cream floats! Yum! I know it's mermaid theme, but we're kind of going on a shark theme. What can I say? Preheat the oven to 350. Now the directions say after you preheat the oven to prepare a muffin tin, but I'm just gonna prepare a regular old cake pan because you're gonna crumble up the cake anyway and mix it with the frosting later. So I'm just gonna make one big mess instead of teeny little messes. Once you've done those things, take a half a cup of butter which is normally one stick of butter, and then a cup of sugar, and beat them together. Once that is beaten together, add a half a teaspoon of vanilla and three eggs. In a separate bowl, combine one and a half cups of flour, a half a teaspoon of salt, and a half a teaspoon of baking soda. Now you're going to alternate putting the powdery mixture into your wet mixture with three-fourths cup sour cream. I'm going to start with sour cream. Yummy! one with the pan. Then you cook it for like 20 minutes or until you poke a thing and nothing comes on that thing. Yes! While that is baking, let's head over to Rachel and have her tell us a little bit about mermaid. I know I had no idea mermaid was a thing until Rachel reached out to me about doing this collaboration. So Rachel, tell us about it. Oh my God, Samantha, I'm so excited to be here again as myself and not as my D&D character, Gwir. So, Mermaid is this art challenge invented by animator Tom Bancroft, and it challenges artists to create mermaid-inspired art for 31 days. If you're an artist, a lot of times it's really hard to find inspiration, so that's why people use art challenges to sort of get the creative juices flowing. For me, I make a lot of fashion editorials on Instagram, and I also like to do illustration. A couple years ago, I did Mermaid completely uh, through illustration, but this year I decided to do it as a multimedia exercise. So I have created illustrations, I've created fashion editorials, I've recorded some music, and it's been a really freeing time for me. And there's still time in Mermaid, so if you want to jump on the bandwagon, please do. And I've loved seeing the earrings that you've made so far. That is so interesting. Rachel, you have inspired me to make a pair of mermaid bottle cap earrings or mermaid inspired bottle cap earrings for the whole month of May. So make sure to go check out my Instagram at bottled up by Sam and my Etsy shop bottled you with the letter U to buy your own pair of mermaid earrings from me. And I'm going to make a little bit here and you can see me make next week's section. So you're getting a little preview.
These puppies will be available in my Etsy shop next week. This week is more mermaid friends than mermaids. Who doesn't like a good octopus friend? Done! Mm, that smells delicious. Now that it is completely cooled, I'm gonna crumble it up and mix it with two cups of frosting, which I noticed 16 ounces, eight ounces equals a cup, so most of these will be the amount that you need. And you should have vanilla frosting. Time to crumble up a cake. Time to crumble and mix with frosting to make it yummy. I know, it should be rum, but it's gin. It's a martini! Here is where it starts to get a little complicated. First, you take this and you make 20 balls of these in teardrop shapes to make the shark form. Then you take a cup of these and you slice them so that you can make the different parts of the shark. <laughs> this is gonna be rough. To elaborate on the cutting of these, it says you're gonna need five pieces per truffle. Stick one piece into the top of the truffle for the shark fin, two on the sides for shark fins, and two in the back for the tail. Okay. That does seem to make sense. I'm gonna be really brave. You see, the gal who wrote this book actually has a YouTube channel. Go check her out. She's Panko Bunny. And she has a tutorial of this video, it says, on the second page of this recipe. Right there. <laughs> so if I totally fail this, go check out her channel. I have a little less than 20. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. But I think that's because I made them a little too big, but I'm not a patient person and I don't feel like redoing it. So these are gonna be like baby shark, do, 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 baby sharks. These are not baby sharks. These are like mama and papa sharks and maybe some grandpa sharks. This could be a shark fin, right? <laughs> Let's find out. Shark fin do 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 shark fin do 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 shark fin. Those look shark like adjacent. <laughs> Although I feel that their fins and tails are a little disproportional to their bodies, but that's okay. That's okay. They're still my little baby sharks. And they're going to go in the freezer for 30 minutes. Or until firm. Ignore my messy freezer. Just like my chocolate candy melts, I am literally melting. So let's head over to Rachel where she's gonna show us how to make that shark ice cream float. Cause I need to cool down. Okay girl, I completely got you. Um, let's make this shark float. I made a little bit of changes because I'm really bougie, you're supposed to add um, Hawaiian punch, but instead we're going to completely make this with um, zero sugar Sprite. And instead of the Hawaiian punch, we are adding lavender syrup because I'm really bougie. And you know, I love lavender flavored anything. This is a really easy recipe. I'm gonna take my mermaid off duty drink tumbler and I am going to I am going to <laughs> I'm going to fill it with uh, sugar free sprite and, and and it's exploding of course <laughs> it is very carbonated. <laughs> By the way, these aren't my roots. Um, it's just makeup. So we're just gonna fill this up with Sprite or your favorite lemon lime soda. I chose Sprite Zero Sugar because I don't like sugar in my soda. But we're going to put some lavender sugar syrup in there. 
I don't know. And that's what's gonna give us a beautiful blue color. Bluish purple. So it's gonna look like the sea. Really, this is the most easy recipe of all time. All right, so now we're gonna make it a float by putting a whole bunch of ice cream in it. I am really happy that, you know, I went to the gym today because this is gonna be so sugary. Ooh, it's kind of looking like, like an iceberg. I mean, it's your classic so soda ice cream oh this is Briar's extra creamy vanilla there's nothing like some vanilla ice cream last but not least you are going to grab some shark gummies now I ordered these off of Amazon and you could only order them by the pound. So I ordered a pound of them and they're already mostly gone. I am really surprised that they're still here. So you decorate it with all of these shark gummies. So it's like they're swimming around swimming around in the float. Ah! <laughs> oh, that's actually really good. Oh no. <laughs> it's getting everywhere. I shouldn't have tried to submerge my sharks. We're gonna just put a couple more on the top. We're not submerging them anymore because, you know, I don't want to ruin my house. And that's it. I put a lot of lavender in here and I can't taste it yet. Yeah, it's mostly just Sprite. I didn't know Sprite could completely cover the taste of lavender. Let's try with the ice cream. Oh, it's like... Kind of froth. So it has like this like beachy texture. It's such a mess. Oh God, it's sharp. Kind of weird. There are weirder combinations than Sprite and vanilla ice cream. Okay, let me put in a little bit more lavender. Sometimes I want my ice cream to taste like a scented candle. Yeah. Lemon completely covers it up. Weird but still good, easy. Oh, there it is, there it is, oh, hello. Hello, Lavender, you've come to the party. And as you go down, as you sip, 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 you can add more and more little sharks as you go. So yeah, this is, this is pretty good. I hope you try it over there. All right, let's check if they're firm. Ooh, those are pretty firm. We're good to go. For this next part, you're going to need to combine your black candy melts and white candy melts to make a great color. In the microwave, melt them for 30 seconds. And just so you know, the recipe calls for five cups of the white candy melts and a one third cup of the black candy melts. So, you're gonna need a lot more white candy melts than black ones, okay? And then, once you melt those together for 30 seconds, I'm gonna kind of do it in sections because this is my bowl, it's not that big. You're gonna dip the sharky things, shark truffles, into it with a fork, pull it out, and immediately, you have to put chocolate chips in it. Thank goodness I have some chocolate chips left from 
my half lean sweet nibbles episode, which you can check out right there. I am going to see how this ratio does in the microwave. But the color gray. I found this amount needed more than 30 seconds. So into the microwave it goes again. Also, once it's melted, you add a little bit of vegetable shortening and that helps give it a thicker coat. Something I did not know, and I have made cake balls before. Although these are technically truffles, not cake balls. I would say that turned out to be a nice gray. Now I'm gonna add a little bit of the shortening and then start dipping. Just so you all know, it technically says it takes three-fourths cup of vegetable shortening. Now you know. Mixy, mixy, mix. Mixing, mixing. Now it's time to refreeze for 15 minutes. Refreeze. What do I do with all this leftover melty mess? Any ideas, Rachel? I couldn't tell you, girl. I'd say add it on top of this, but I don't know. This texture on top is pretty weird. It's, it's kind of similar. See? Who knew when you mix ice cream and Sprite? <laughs> it's not terrible, though. Use it as a face mask. I'd eat it with a spoon. I mean, I love meringue. They look more like the blob of fish. <laughs> yeah, they look more like a blob fish. This one may be the closest one I got to looking like a shark. Think I went too big. If I was a more patient person, I would have redone them a little smaller. But I'm not. As you can see, I made five more pairs of mermaid-inspired earrings for Mermaid while I made this beautiful <laughs> shark. Or as I think I'm gonna call him Blobfish, because he looks more like a blobfish, just grayer than the normal blobfish. So let's give this little guy a try. <laughs> I feel bad eating him. He's so like ugly cute. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Very chewy, but very good. I mean, I know it says it's a shark truffle, but it's your basic cake pop, you know, or cake ball. In the Midwest, we call them cake balls. I mean, but a cake pop is technically just a cake ball on a stick. That's what it's like, it's, it's good. I like it. <laughs> I'm not sure I will attempt to ever make these again. <laughs> I think they're a little beyond my skill level. How is your shake, Rachel? Well, I think your blobfish is really, really cute. And maybe it's not the shark we need, but it is the blobfish that we deserve. As you can see, I'm wearing the pair of earrings you made me, which I love, um, just to support. And yeah, my final thoughts on this. Kind of tastes like a cream soda, but like instead of, you know, orange, it's just, you know, lemon lime soda. There's nothing outwardly offensive about it, let me say. Uh, it's It just tastes like I am going to be running around the house for a couple of hours after this because I am going to be so high on sugar and even though like the, the Sprite is sugar-free, it's just everything. It's just, <laughs> it's, it's just, it just tastes so sugary. It's inoffensive. It took me like five seconds to make, so don't hate it. It's pretty. If you have kids, I'm sure they would love this. <laughs> it's, it's, it's good. Thank you again for having me. It's always so much fun to be on this show with you. It's, it's amazing. Y'all go buy Samantha's earrings. They are extremely cute. Yeah, if you want to check out Fermata Fashion, um, 
Like I said, I've created a bunch of fashion editorials and illustrations. Some of the illustrations that I made into shirts that you can buy off of Zazzle and they're really beautiful and cursed. So go check those out if you're interested. Uh, on Fermata Fashion, I'm also doing a collaboration with my friend, uh, Designs by Allison Riley. And this is some of the jewelry she's made. She likes to use a lot of uh, recycled materials also, antiques. Her whole brand is making things and transforming them into something new. So check her out also if you have the time. But thank you so much. I hope you enjoy Mermaid and don't forget to hold Fermata. Make sure if you like this video to like and subscribe. And if you want to check out more content from Fermata Fashion, be sure to check my description below. I have all of her information there. Also, you can go to her channel and see this cool interview I did with her about two or three months ago about being geeky and fashion. All right, see you next time.